Hello watch fans. Beth here watches here and inside this service box we've got a circa 2002 International Watch Company IWC GST chronograph and what a nice thing it is. Now we've got the warranty card as well it's got the right serial number on it's stamped they've actually got the model number wrong that should be 08 at the end and they haven't dated it so we're going to have to say circa circa 2002 so this has a uh, IWC movement but it's heavily based on the Vajoo 7750 so should you need spares in the future it shouldn't be a problem that gives you a 288 automatic chronograph movement quick set on the day and date everything working as it should do now these were available in titanium or steel and strangely the steel ones were more expensive this is the steel one with a nice finishing and it's all in very very nice order now these have a bracelet so you can't fit that makes it look any good you can't fit uh, a leather strap so do check your wrist size you may find that there's uh, spare links available out there but this has got a good length bracelet on as some regular viewers will know I'm not the smallest of guys and this will fit me I know because I've been wearing it got to test these things that's a hard job quite a thick watch everything with these 7750 movements tends to be quite large because the movement itself is quite big and you've got, I do like this cursive script, International Watch Co. over the top, and then IWC at two o'clock. It's a smart, smart thing. Uh, I considered buying one of these new at the time. I actually prompted for the Flyger Chronograph as my only watch back then. And the reason I went for the Flyger Chronograph is it's just a couple of millimeters smaller on the case, which suits me. But maybe now I've put a bit more weight on, this works better for me. You can see more on this watch at berthierwatches.com. We've put a link in the comments below. It's got the original fish that shows that it was waterproof. We wouldn't say any vintage watch is waterproof though. At 20 years, it's debatable whether you want to call it vintage. And before I go though, I want to show you these links. Inside here, you see that? That's a push. So if you push that and then push on the pin, it slides out really really simple fitting bravo IWC it means that the pins all sit perfectly I prefer that to a screw system really nice I've not seen it before yeah to see more on this please click the link in the comments below thanks for watching